Oh, my sincere apologies. I'm aware that this is very sudden and... and completely out of nowhere. My... my goal was not to surprise you, but... but... rather... rather have... um... a real meeting, you and I. I'm... I'm really sorry. If it comes off weird, well, I do not blame you whatsoever. This is very... unusual. Traditions would have us meeting for the first time during the ceremony. And... and, well, there's... There's nothing wrong with that, as long as you feel like it's the right thing. Of course. I'm, I'm sure you can tell how I feel about it. Without due respect, I, I couldn't allow myself to be entangled with the, the unknown. Of course, I'm not trying to say anything bad about you. It's just the situation that I couldn't deal with. That's all. I'm probably making a fool of myself. Perhaps I shouldn't have come here after all. Maybe that would have been the right thing to do. But at the same time, I just couldn't help myself. I sincerely apologize. This is probably the, the worst first impression someone could give. I must look pathetic. You don't think so, really. Huh. That is very kind of you. Well, I may not be what you've been looking for. When it comes down to a partner, it's understandable after all. I can't really blame it all on how it came to be. I believe it's for the greater good. I would have done everything to stop this awful war. We might never like each other. We might never fall in love. But I hope that we share the same goal, at the very least. I never hated your people or, or your family. It doesn't take much to start a war, after all. Things can escalate very easily from there, but after seven years of fighting, there's finally hope. It's something that I thought it would never come. That peace would only return after one of us remained. I'm aware that I am no saint. I've led armies into battles, of course, fighting by the side of my comrades. I definitely have blood on my hands. Perhaps too much, in fact. Uh, I'm not trying to intimidate you, of course. I only fought because... because I had to. I never enjoyed doing any of it. This is the only opportunity that we were given. And I intend on taking it. I... I get that you might not like me, and, and well, that's understandable. I'll, I'll never force you to, to like me or anything. Love is something that occurs naturally. But I hope that you understand where I'm coming from. Uh, again, I apologize for any confusion. Hmm? You want to know me better. M well, that's very charming. Thank you very much. <clears throat> well, I'm sure you already know that I am of royalty. Of course, I am the last remaining son of my father, who I'm certain you've heard plenty about. Trust me, he's not as bad as you think. He's just a little cold sometimes. But he doesn't mean it. <laughs> I can only imagine how hard things must have been for him through all those years. Sometimes I wish my brothers were here, in fact. They knew exactly how to talk to him. Unfortunately for me, as 
You could tell earlier. <laughs> I'm not really good with words. You disagree. <laughs> you are flattering me. Thank you very much. I'm happy to hear that I am giving you a better impression so far. I was certain that I was going to scare you away, but... But so far, this is heading into a completely different direction than I imagined. Uh, I simply want what's best for our countries. Even if I'm still somewhat against it, our engagement will show our people a strong message. Hope. Something that we haven't seen in a long time long time. I yearn for the days where we had nothing to worry about. I'm sure you feel the same way. Only someone mad could ever wish a world filled with chaos. But <laughs> uh, it's really comforting to find out that you are so caring. Uh, I'm not trying to say that you didn't look like it at all. I mean, of, of course not. I was thought at a, at a young age not to judge people so easily. And to be completely honest with you, this goes against what I was just saying. I, I couldn't help but notice how you, you appeal to my eyes. It feels like you shine in your, in your own way without anything else ever coming close to something similar. I, I... I probably sound crazy, and it must not make a lot of sense, but these are the first words that came to my mind the very second this door was no longer between us. <clears throat> this is something you'd read in a romantic novel or something. Um, I'm very aware of how this sounds, but I want to be as honest as I could. I mean, especially with you, since we're going to spend a large majority of our lives together. Or, well, so far, it doesn't sound bad at all. The last thing I want is for you to feel like you're being put in a cage. I won't tell you to do anything. Even if the rest of the world sees us as sworn enemies, I could never bring myself to purposely make you unhappy. I, I mean, I don't even know you, and, and yet, as weird as it sounds, I feel comfort around you. I just feel like I could tell you anything and you wouldn't judge me for it. It's definitely something that I don't throw around at people, and trust me, I've only heard stories about you, especially about your beauty. I never got a chance to see for myself until now, but I'm far from being disappointed. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard plenty of things about me. Not really good things, that's for sure. I hope this feels like a proper meeting, instead of simply agreeing on terms around a table pretending to love each other in public. Could I ask you a question? Y you don't have to answer if you don't want to. I just want to be sure about something. You don't have any feelings for anyone at the moment, correct? I I'm sorry for for being so forward. I, I would never forgive myself if I were the cause of an unfortunate event. No? Good. That's a relief. Things could have been tragic. And I've been focusing on combat for so long Romance never crossed my mind once. It's not like I've had any time for it anyway. 
I imagine it was pretty much the same for you. It's understandable. How could love ever bloom in this mess? Hopefully that's all behind us now. I don't know you that well. But I'm certain that together, we can rule in peace. Show no boundaries. No flags. Only harmony. I'm not expecting things to change fast. It will probably take us a lifetime, but... I believe in us. You've given me hope. Thank you. I never expected things to go so... well. We cannot tell anyone about this meeting, however, for obvious reasons, of course. So, this will be our little secret until death does us part. <sighs> uh, I would like to know more about you. I know a whole lot about your brother already. Unfortunately, we only talked with our blades. Uh, as much as I dislike saying this, he's a wonderful fighter. I'm just glad we won't see each other like that again. Unlike him, you give a very calming energy. I, I don't really know how to describe it. Like, nothing bad could ever happen to me with you by my side. I'm just... Assuming a lot of things that don't make sense. I mean, I I barely know you after all, but I I, I think that you're you're wonderful I've never cared about love before and and I'd say it's love at first sight Perhaps it was fate that we're both here right now I have no idea what I'm talking about. It seems that my emotions have taken the, the better of me. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't really know what's happening to me. I, I just feel so strange. But in a good way, it's hard to explain. I feel so comfortable. So, at home, and yet I couldn't be any further away from home. Pretty ironic, don't you think? Uh, trust me, I'm pretty disappointed in myself right now. I thought I was better than this. I, I'm not the kind to explode about his feelings this way. Hmm? You think there's nothing wrong with that? Huh. Well, I simply wish I did in a, a different way. Not really romantic of me. <laughs> My words probably don't sound very genuine. Especially when we were pure strangers moments ago. I would give you my word, but it would be meaningless in this case. I give you my heart, the entirety of it. It's all yours, a unique gift that I shall never give again. I swear it before the gods and to you. Hmm? Why are you hiding your face? D don't tell me. I hope I said everything right. I was told to practice, but, but, well, I had other things in mind. Mm? That's not the reason. Oh, I, I see. You don't have to be embarrassed about it. I had to do it at, I had to do it at some point anyway. I guess I'll have to, to declare it twice with everyone else around us, but I felt like I had to tell you, alone, 
It means so much more to me. I I don't blame you if you if you don't feel the same way. I'm probably not what you've been looking for, but if there's something you should know, it's that I'll do my best to be what you've always dreamed of. It's the least I could do. Hmm? Y you feel the same. <laughs> if your words are true, then that makes me a very happy man. The happiest, in fact. Perhaps the world will never accept our union as genuine. Maybe our differences will be forever subject of conversation. Perhaps no one will have faith in our relationship. But, but we'll do our best with what we have. And that's all that matters in the end. Because with you, I feel like I could do anything. I, I feel like I'm whole. I could try to say it in different ways, but there's just no words to describe it. My heart feels like I've been waiting for you my whole life. The gods must be cruel if my soulmate happened to be. Royalty of a country I'm at war with. If this is all a test, I'm more than ready to show them what I'm capable of. However, I'm not saying I'm glad it all happened. I've lost so much through these seven long years. I'll never see them again. But I'll make sure to honor them. Make sure that they aren't gone for nothing. So, this is it. It's time to make my final promise with you. I ask you to be my other half. Our love shall be the protector of the realm and overcome anything in its path. I dedicate my life to protect you until my very last breath in this world. Please, be mine, and I shall be yours. Y you you accept? Huh. Thank the gods. I can't believe I'm more nervous proposing to someone than being on the battlefield. Uh, but enough about that. Thank you. I honestly never thought things would ever end this way. I was sure you were going to completely reject me, or that I I could never win your trust because, well, you already know the rest. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. My heart is beating so fast right now I feel like, I feel like I'm about to pass out. <laughs> uh, to think I'm about to get married with someone as wonderful as you. It's truly a blessing. Well, it's getting late. I wouldn't want my father to think I disappeared on him. Um, I will see you very soon, I hope. Please, take care of yourself while I'm gone. Oh, and here, have this. A forehead kiss for luck. Make sure to give it back when we see each other again. Sleep well. I love you.